Hello friends, today I am making electrostatic motor. This is also called Corona motor. There are a bunch of experiments with Corona motors on the internet, but today I will show you the most simple way to actually build one of these. I am going to use simple plastic cup and aluminium self-adhesive foil. Such aluminium foil can be found in almost any construction shop. I will cut the foil in couple of stripes and tape it to the cup. The number of the stripes doesn't matter. All I have to do is to glue the stripes so that they are one centimeter away from each other. You don't have to be super precise here, just take your time. In the center of the cup I made little center dot. I have to be careful to find the exact center of the bottom of the cup, so my motor is well balanced. I will use some spare piece of plywood for a stand, and a sharpened Chinese food stick to hold the cup. I will use hot glue to attach the stick to the plywood piece. Then I will use two pieces of copper wire with sharpened ends. They have to be shaped, so I can glue them down firmly. Those two wires I will place on both sides of the cup standing close to the plastic cup, but not too close, because it could cause arching and potentially detroy the cup and burn the high voltage generator. It is very important to make them sharp on the ends, because this will help the high voltage to travel trough the motor and make it spin. For this project I am going to need a high voltage generator. I bought this one from AliExpress for dirt cheap. It was like $1.5 with shipping fee. I will clip the generator to the wires of the electrostatic motor. Here I will power the generator with 5 volts DC. First I will connect the negative wire and use the positive wire as a switch. Please note that we should never touch high voltage, because it is dangerous. It takes some time to gain momentum, but it will speed up now. Now I will let you hear the sound generated from the motor. I find it very interesting. As you can see, we can make it spin very fast easily. Not that we should never touch the spinning cup before we disconnect the high voltage generator. Thank you for watching and see you again.